Well, I'm here, uh, first of all, I'm the uh, first vice chair for the St. John's County Democratic Party, uh, and I've known uh, Annette since the time I started here, four years ago, whatever it's been, and um, I saw her work uh, so hard to develop the party, and I knew the history, I learned that for the history, uh, she really started, she was the first chair, I believe, of the local Democratic Party, and uh, out of respect, I certainly want to show that to her for the work that she's done. I'm here for uh, Annette Capella, and I love Annette, uh, and my best story about Annette is she can be very feisty and argue and tell you what you are doing wrong, and the best way that for me to treat Annette lovingly, she's a teacher. Never, ever forget that. I, te I treat her like a teacher, and she loves me, and I love her. And I wish I could do as much service and have the talent she has to do what she's done for the Democratic Party and for the people of America. So we're here celebrating uh, Annette Cavella's many years of public service. When I got the invite, it was definitely an honor to accept it. just want to um, help Annette celebrate the uh, occasion, basically. Because we, we've known Annette for a long time and we want to make sure that we're here to help celebrate her. Uh, so we've been back and forth in St. Johns County and she's been a stalwart. She's been a leader here in St. Johns County. So we just wanted to be here. I'm here to celebrate Annette Capello, who um, has been my friend since 2000. And I'm very excited to be here. I'm here to celebrate Annette and all the work that she's done for the Democratic Party. I'm here to honor Annette Capella for all the great things that she has done. She's been a great friend to me, and we have served many years together as state committee people. So it's just a pleasure to be here with all our good friends and family. Hi. I'm Kathleen and I'm here because Annette has served for decades for the Florida Democratic Party. I, I was brought in by her to run for state senate and that was an, a wonderful experience in 2010, 2012 and 2014. I appreciate all the work that Annette has done for decades and decades. Thank you. I'm on the, well we're both on the event committee and we're here to celebrate Annette plus we planned the event so, <laughs> plus we're celebrating Annette. It's nice not that we usually do the entertaining. It's nice to go somewhere else where we don't have to do all the work. <laughs> I'm here because I really love Annette. She has sung in my choir at the church. She's sung in the community chorus. And besides, she's a fabulous, fabulous organizer and worker for ideals that I really believe in. As a staunch Democrat, Annette is my idol. I think she's been fabulous and I wish her the best. I'm here because of the great work that Annette has done throughout the, work, throughout the years. Uh, she has been a dedicated and resourceful person for the Democratic Party. She's a beautiful person, she's a religious person, and, and she's a, she works very hard in whatever she does. So I'm here to support her and to celebrate her life. Because Annette is a friend, she's a force to be reckoned with in the community, and it is really an honor to have known her in a lot of different capacities as a member of St. Cyprian's, as a champion of Compassionate St. Augustine, and as her role with the Democratic Party locally, statewide, and it extends nationally too. Gee, it's been a long time that Annette and I have been working together. It was ten and a half years ago that we decided to open an office in St. Augustine because of the 2008 presidential campaign. And Annette realized how important it was to get the office open, to have a presence in St. John's County. And through the years, through thick and thin and good times and bad times, we have been able to keep the office open for ten and a half years now. That is why we're celebrating Annette. But she's also being celebrated because of everything she's done at the local level. All, the, all that she's done in the region and all that she's done at the state level. So, Annette, you're the best. And we have another, well, we have a candidate's table back here. We have, who's here already? Let's see. 
We have Adam Morley. I am here because I have terrific amount of respect for Annette and I, uh, I just wanted to be part of the celebration to wish her not farewell but to wish her well. I'm here to honor Annette. When I first came to St. Augustine, I kind of wandered into the little office on King Street and thought, what's all this about? And before I knew it, Annette was on me and that was it. I've been uh, her acolyte ever since. <laughs> Thank you. She's my inspiration and uh, you know, holding this together with Mel almost single-handedly over the years, she's, she's quite an inspiration. Are you surprised by all these people here? I am amazed. Uh, people have come from all over the state, from Tallahassee to Miami to Palm Beach, from DeLand. People who rode a bus here from various places overnight just to come to see me. Oh, Lots of love. Lots of love. An man. awful lot. You don't realize what you've done until you get this kind of ovation. I told my kids when they said that some would come, because they could, I said if there could be 10 people or 100, I can't promise anything. That's all I knew. And then when Mel told me how many people were coming, I said, who's coming in the middle of summer? This is the off season. Well, I appreciate that so much. I'm overwhelmed. And I love everybody. They're all people that I made friends with, who worked hard for, hard for the party, and who dedicated so much love, so much work, so much time. Who spent time with me in the evening. They were there until the wee hours of the morning. They'd get up early at 4 or 5 o'clock and meet me places. And they went everywhere. I, I, you never know. You never know what's going to happen or how you do it. It's magic. St. Augustine is magical. And it's a treasure trove of really good-hearted, thankful people. Whether you are educating and preparing our youth to succeed in life or educating and engaging political leaders to defend our values, you have always demonstrated selfless dedication. It takes courage to show up every day, committed to changing the world. Thank you for being courageous.